Okay, so in this particular problem, in the exam, what I would do as a first um, intuition would be like, okay, I'm seeing a voltage, I see a resistor, so normally I is equal to V over R, so I'll put 120 divided by 25, and my answer would be 4.8, right? And then I'll move on to the next question thinking that I get that right. That answer is right there, but it's not right. Because you know why? Because I did not read the question correctly. The question is to to find the average current in the rectifier below. So we have to find out what kind of rectifier we have first of all. Okay, so you either have a uh, full wave rectifier or you have a half wave rectifier. Now let's just kind of uh, review a little bit here for if you have a half wave rectifier, what we get typically. So if you have a half wave rectifier, if I remember correctly, um, half of the uh, the symmetric AC signal gets through, not all of it, but just half of it. So say we have a um, you know a V in here and then a V out, so you have an input signal coming in, so your output signal would be half of that, basically. So that's what a half wave rectifier does. And obviously we're not dealing with that in this particular problem. So your signal would have looked like this, basically. You know, just half. Okay. On the other hand, if we have a um, full wave rectifier, like what we're dealing here, what we're dealing um, here with, the current is always um, going in the same direction, and f both of them actually, full wave rectifiers and half wave rectifiers, are actually used in. AC to DC converters, but the full wave rectifier is more efficient than half wave rectifiers. So, I'm just trying to draw here, uh, full wave rectifier, like I'm, I suck at drawing, but you get the point. Okay. So, the full wave rectifier, the trick tricky part is that the current is always going in the same direction no matter what just the same direction so that's the reason why you will get a signal that looks so this is the end um, and you would have a, a resistor of course and you have V out okay and since it's uh, only uh, the current goes through the same direction you would have a full wave but only the same direction you know what I mean not down so that's how what your signal looks like with a full wave rectifier and that's what we're dealing with here in this particular case and so if you read the problem correctly the question is to find the average current so the average current will be average voltage divided by resistor resistor is always given but we don't have the average voltage what we have here is the maximum voltage not the average voltage so we have to find the average voltage. And so, um, how do you find the average voltage? We can go to the book. As you can see here, I already uh, looked it up. So you have two times your maximum value. That could be voltage, that could be anything else, but your maximum value divided by pi. Okay? For full wave rectifiers. Okay? So you have two times V max over pi 2 times 120 over pi so that's 240 over pi okay so now that we know our voltage we can go ahead and calculate our current so i is equal to vr so we have 240 over pi di um, divided by r or multiplied by 1 over same thing. 1 over 25 and our answer would be different than 4.8 you know because I could totally see that just going straight and doing 120 divided by 25 instead of reading the question so you have to be extremely careful that if you don't solve the problem right the answer is going to be there so just because the answer is there doesn't mean that you have it right so be careful here okay alright